coming to you live from Malaysia. I would like to welcome you to my weekly live video. And in today's session, I would like to talk about personal development. And the topic is, do you believe that challenges and obstacles make you stronger? Now, this is a very important statement. And I believe that, you know, you have to agree with me that it is true. Challenges and obstacles make you stronger. Now, in life, we go through many challenges, but those who succeed are those who go through and persist. Challenges is what makes us stronger. Do you agree with me? Challenges is what makes us stronger. Now, I'm sure you know about the caterpillar turning into a butterfly, all right? When the butterfly is trying to come up from the caterpillar, it has to struggle and struggle and struggle. And once it come out, then it becomes a beautiful butterfly and then it can fly. But unfortunately, if the cap if the butterfly, if the butterfly is trying to come out from the caterpillar and you take a knife and cut it and help the butterfly to come out easily, you know what will happen? The caterpillar, uh, the butterfly will not be able to fly. It becomes very weak because it needs to struggle in order for it to be able to survive. All right, so even for a butterfly, you know, coming out from a caterpillar, it has to struggle. In life, we humans have to struggle as well if we want to be strong. Are you with me? All right. Now, I'm sure you heard about uh, Napoleon Hill in his book, Think and Grow Rich. Okay. He mentioned that there is a hidden guide whose duty is to put men or women through all sorts of difficult and tough situations. Now, the people who pass this test, they become richly rewarded. But those who fail, many fail, that's for sure, they will not achieve any greatness in life. So there is a hidden guide whose duty is to test us to all the challenging situations, whether we can overcome it or not. But sad to say, majority do not pass the test. Okay. Now, the truth is this. Many people are not handicapped physically, but are handicapped mentally. Do you realize most people physically are fit, are complete, but the problem is that their mental is handicapped. So it is, you know, it is sad that to say that, you know, physically, a lot of people are all, you know, uh, physically fine, but uh, mentally they are handicapped. That is why they go through life with failure after failure after failure. Know that tough time do not last, but tough people do. Okay, this is a book written by Robert Schuller. He said, tough times don't last, but tough people do. Isn't it true? You all through your life, you have gone through tough times, but you survive. That's why you're still around. So you have to be strong. You got to be uh, tough with yourself because the tough time will not last. You got to be tough. Okay, now what I want to share with you is a, a few stories here to indicate that, you know, we have to go through challenges if we want to succeed. Okay, now the first story is about the Wright brothers. Now the Wright brothers, they wanted to invent the, the, the plane, right, flight. And uh, they fit many times and people laugh at them. In fact, people say that, you know, uh, uh, condemn them and say that you know, flying is reserved for the angel. A human cannot fly. But they tried and tried. And you know what? Their first success was only seven seconds, airborne. For seven seconds, then after that, it, it, it dropped to the ground. But with that success of seven seconds, they know that they can make it longer and longer and longer. And that's why they become successful. Okay. Now, the second is Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison is uh, one of the greatest inventors. Okay. He invented many, many uh, uh, things outside there, many, many uh, great things outside there. And one of the most important was the incandescent lamp, uh, light, right? Incandescent light, which is basically, you know, we should be thankful to Thomas Edison because without this invention, we will be staying in total darkness. But because of Thomas Edison, he invented the light bulb and we are today uh, not in darkness. But you realize that in the process of inventing the light bulb, he failed 10,000 times, in fact, more than 10,000 times. But the attitude is different from a lot of other negative people. 
when the reporter asked him, Mr. Edison, I heard that you, you failed 10,000 times. He said, no, I did not fail 10,000 times. I discovered 10,000 ways that do not work. So it's, it's leading me to the way that is going to work by elimination. Is that true? So basically, that is the attitude. Persistency is the key to success. All right. Now, another story is uh, Walt Disney. I'm sure you know who Walt Disney is. He was a cartoonist, all right? And, you know, uh, uh, he he drew, drew the picture of a rabbit. And he wanted to make it a big success. But unfortunately, the idea was stolen from him. The idea of the rabbit was stolen from him. And what happened was that he was very sad, depressed. And he went and stayed in the basement of the house. And in the basement, he befriended a mouse. And there goes Mickey Mouse. So with one failure, you know, he came across a better opportunity in Mickey Mouse because he befriended a mouse in the in the what you call in the storeroom. So he has to be persistent. He could just say, you know, oh, I give up because my idea was stolen by somebody else. But then, you know, there comes another idea. Okay. Now, as far as I'm concerned, my story as well, you know, there are a lot of challenges in life, uh, but I overcome all those challenges and today I become successful. So basically, challenges makes us more stronger and make us successful. Now, actually, I was in network marketing many, many years ago, you know, I was involved with a big company and somehow I had problem with the company and and they asked me to show costs. All right, I don't want to go into the detail, but then what happened was that, you know, I, I I was disappointed, but then after that, I came across my present company and I have been blessed all these years, more than 20 years now. Okay. And when I started the company as well, there were a lot of challenges because there was no office in Malaysia. There was office in Singapore. So what I have to do is that I've got to uh, travel to Singapore to submit the registration form and on the way back I will collect product and pass to the uh, custom. So it's like uh, what do you call smuggling product from one country to another country but that was the challenges I had to go through and because of the challenges and I persist and today we become successful. Okay so I do believe that you know challenges makes us stronger. Challenges Challenges and obstacles make us stronger. Do you agree with me on that point? That's true. So, what I want to say is that embrace challenges and thank the universe or God for giving it to you because that is what is going to build you into the future. At this moment of crisis, you see, it makes us stronger and change as well. You see, I, I know that now now we are already over but previously during the lockdown you know the the covid lockdown and so on it was a big challenge but somehow you know it, it became an opportunity as well for a lot of people to to learn how to go online and so on so uh, every opportunity obstacles carry it an equivalent seat of success okay so that's all my sharing for today i hope that you learned something here uh let me uh repeat for you the topic is do you believe that challenges and obstacles make you stronger? In life, we go through obstacles and challenges and it makes us stronger. All right, I spoke about the story of the caterpillar uh, becoming a butterfly. It has to struggle. Many people are not handicapped physically, but mentally they're handicapped. Okay, and I spoke about Robert Schuller, tough times don't last, but tough people do. And then the success story of the Wright brothers, Thomas Edison, Walt Disney, and even my own story. So I hope that you learned something here. If you like what you hear and see, please feel free to like, to share, and to comment. I'll see you again for another session of my live video on Friday. So this is Richard Quack wishing you good night and goodbye.